Today is the day. It is the day. Finally here. Today is the day. To barely sleep. To install solar. You got, you got barely sleep. These are my neighbors, Chris and Amanda, and it was their dream to get solar panels. And when they saw the cost savings of installing solar themselves, they were sold. The only problem was that they had no experience and some fears, but a willingness to give it a try. You're doing the work yourself, right? Yes. yes. So when you call for an inspection, you need to call us at least 24 hours in advance. Okay. This is a story about my neighbors who live just a few houses away and how they took a risk and installed an 8.6 kilowatt solar panel system themselves. The journey began when Chris posted on our neighborhood Facebook group asking about solar power. I immediately reached out to him because I think solar power is awesome and I wanted to help. If you don't know me, my name is Reese and I did a DIY solar project and put 48 solar panels on my roof that covers 100% of our family's electrical needs. And when I spoke to Chris and Amanda and brought this idea up of them installing solar themselves, they said they were up for it. So have you guys ever installed solar before? Uh, no. no, no, not solar. No. Nope. Are you guys nervous at all? Um, I'll be a honest. Bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Um, since I don't have experience with it, there's a lot of questions. I'm also just a little nervous about um, learning how to do it while we're doing it. To make the project easier, Chris and Amanda decided to partner with a company called Solar Wholesale who also helped sponsor this video. Solar Wholesale put together a kit of custom hardware and also made the packet of engineering diagrams that they could hand in to get their electrical code permit. So how are you feeling about turning in this permit? I'm feeling good. We got all, everything uh, written up and approved by the uh, Solar Wholesale uh, engineers. So I'm really confident that they've done all the calculations that they need to see. And um, yeah, hopefully it can get approved uh, just a couple days and we can keep moving ahead. And after dropping off the original paperwork, within two days, they got the exciting news they could pick up the permit and then their kit of equipment could ship. All right. We've got the permits. permits. We're ready to go now. Yes. And about a week or two later, the truck arrived and it was like Christmas morning, unpacking and learning what all the parts are so they can put in a solar plant on their own house. So now you guys got the stuff. How are you feeling? Uh, it's exciting. Can't wait to get started now. I'd love to work on it today. I've got. I've got desk work to do, but I'd, I'd rather be working on this, honestly. It's pretty real now. I mean, we've actually got tangible stuff that we paid for. Their kit came with detailed step-by-step -step instructions. So before getting on the roof, they learned what all the parts are and how they go together. And even though there are instructions to follow, the days leading up to drilling those very first holes on the roof were filled with a mix of excitement and apprehension. This, this has the potential to, to go very well or very badly. All right, we got the instructions out. What does step one say? Uh, step one, actually step four, we're determining the layout of how the panels go on the roof itself. So uh, we already got a plan set that had like a top-down view that showed the whole roof and the plans themselves. This is to figure out where we're actually gonna be putting the holes in the roof to hold the rails, the footers, all that good stuff. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. Hey, Chris. Are you ready for this? Like, you're gonna drill a hole in your it's roof. The first hole in the roof. Um, y you're yeah, like well, purposely gonna put a hole in your roof. Well, you know, there is such a thing that exists called caulking and specific roof caulking, so um, it'll probably be okay. Uh, probably. Um, That's the key word here. So yeah, you're not you nervous. Trust, it, trust in caulk, man. It. Trust in caulk. <laughs> so you drill a hole, slide the wire in there, and then you can rotate it around to uh, find, you know, find where your truss uh, center is at. Hey, what do we say? A great success, yes! <laughs> After locating the first truss, the next step was to mark locations where each flashing and mount would go according to the plan set. The purpose of the flashing is to divert any water away from any holes underneath, but it's not a bad idea to put caulk on the flashing and fill in any holes with caulk too. You'll likely need to loosen the adhesive on the shingles above the mounting hole, either with heat or by prying them up. Then you can slide the flashing in underneath. And once the flashing is in place, then you can screw down the lag bolt that holds the bracket for the rails. Good and tight. That looks very tight. Good job. Okay. All right, first one done. How many more we gotta do? 80 something. 
80 something. 80 something. Look at that. Amanda's up there putting those lag bolts in. So, and can't wait to get the rails and the panels on there. All right, so we're at the last hole. Last hole drilled. Last The last one, one to okay. go in. Sweet. Here we go. All hope right. I hope I hit it. Do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> The bit broke on the last hole. <laughs> well, well, we can get another one. Uh, hey, Solar Wholesale, include two bits in all your kits. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just kind of worried because it's like right there. It's right so where, where it needed else to be. Can I, I can't move it over a whole lot further. Do you want to uh, call for help? Hey, yeah. yeah like the phone a friend? Yeah. Hey, Dan, this is Chris and Amanda here. And we have a little problem we hoping you can help us out with. Yeah. So uh, we were drilling the last hole for our array on the roof and the drill bit broke off in the hole. Okay, what I would suggest is if you have an extra drill bit, um, to go ahead and just drill a hole right above that drill bit that's right in the, in, that is broken off. Right above it, and okay. Your foot should be able to make that adjustment so it wouldn't run into any problems. And I, if you're okay with it, just go ahead and leave the bit in the roof. Okay, okay. that sounds great. So after permanently burying the bit in the roof, we moved on to adding the rail. Attach the rail to the elk feet. You'll need the saddle attachments you were provided. Take a bolt from the saddle and put it through the elk foot and back through the saddle. Seems like that's what you guys are doing, right? So rails are done. Putting on rails on your roof is tight. Yeah. Take a look at this. Look what you guys did. Look at that. Uh, you are professionals. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, come on. We're Look just at this. Talented amateurs. We're, we're not rank amateurs anymore. We're slightly experienced amateurs. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you guys, again, are just doing a fabulous job. Well, I couldn't let them have all the fun, so I did get to use some power tools and help them and cut the excess rail off to make it look better from the road. How to attach micro inverters. There we go. What these boxes do is convert direct current from the solar panels into alternating current. This makes the wiring a little easier since you don't need to mess with high voltage DC wires and you can run regular AC wires off of your roof. I got one more. One more. One more to go. Right. Okay. That's it. We have our number six copper wire here, bare copper wire. Every other rail is getting grounded as per code. All right, so we're gonna take this main cable and connect our micro inverters together, so. So this is to transition into your attic. Yep. We have our two AC trunk cables, one from the side, one from the side, and our grounding. And this uh, box is kind of right in the middle of the whole array to make life a little easier. And then also we are trying to avoid any, uh, any trusses here, so we don't want to drill right into that. Next, we carefully move the solar panels up to the roof. And this is the part you definitely want friends to help. All right, you guys got it. Good pros. The uh, panels are getting heavy, aren't they? Yes, they are, but we got to keep going. We've still got daylight here. Thankfully, when you get to this stage, things start to get satisfying since installing the panels is straightforward. Once you've got the first ones lined up, then each successive one, you click in the positive and negative connectors, make sure your cables are not going to touch the roof surface, and then you tighten down with the two fasteners on each side. And after many long hours working together, it wouldn't be a project if you didn't pull out a 90s video game mistranslation reference. All this solar is belong to us. How you feeling here? Whew, I'll tell you what, as the day goes on, just get a little more tired, but we are making great progress. This is really looking like a solar install. We've got more than half the panels on. At this point, uh, they're, they're going on easy. We've got uh, extension cords to put on and whatnot. Uh, it's looking great. I love the look of these panels. They're all black. They look super high tech. To keep wires from touching the roof, they used aluminum clips and zip ties, but Solar Wholesale also gave this tip to wrap excess slack around the rails before plugging them into the microinverters. Now, if you have any interest in solar, maybe you have questions, check out my free PDF. It's the beginner's guide to getting solar. And if you're interested in doing DIY solar like these guys, and you want a company like Solar Wholesale to help you, check the link in the video description below. Not only will they give you a free quote, but they'll also give you $250 off if you use their service. To fish the wires from the attic to the exterior of the house, we did have to sacrifice a metal wire hanger and shape it into a hook so I could grab the two AC wires that Chris was feeding me from above. And from this point, we ran wires through the flexible conduit and then attached it and the other boxes to the wall. This first one is called the combiner box, and one of its main jobs is to combine the AC wires down into two current carrying wires. And this other box is a disconnect switch, which is required by code and is a quick way to shut down the system if needed. Because they're solar 
connect-to-grid connection happens inside, we rented a hammer drill to make a hole for the conduit, secured all the wires down, and then ran them so that they connect into the house circuit breaker panel. And with everything connected and secured down, the last thing was to put on the safety stickers and wait for the inspector to come. To be honest, I was a little nervous when they told me the inspector was coming, but later on I got the good news that he had looked everything over and passed them with flying colors. So he didn't find anything wrong? He wasn't like, oh no, you gotta do this, or no, he, watch out for this, or? He, he actually seemed surprised that this was a DIY job. The next thing that they were waiting for happened a few weeks later when the power company came out to install a bi-directional meter. This meter enables them to get credit for excess electrical generation, and importantly, the big moment they've been waiting for. All right, just got the bi-directional meter. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Right. No, I don't look ready. This oh, pink thing on. on my head. Yeah, I haven't That's washed fine. my hair. This is exciting. One, right. two, three. And... Oh, there it is. And then the big one. Rubber Drum in. roll, please. One, two, three. Ta-da! <laughs> the yeah. day is here. On the meter, the, the arrows are pointing left now. Oh, you're generating power, power setting it to the grid. Out to the system instead of coming in from the grid. So I'm so proud of you guys for taking a risk, putting in solar yourself. You're gonna enjoy looking at those panels every time you come home from the driveway and say, I did that. And so to welcome you to the DIY Solar Club, I have a little present for you. So because you have joined the club, because you have put in a solar power plant yourself, it was on your to-do list. So you, I got you guys these shirts that you can wear proudly that you have put putting in solar on your to-do list and you actually got it done. DIY Congratulations. Solar plant. Hey, thank this you. is fantastic. One, two, three, solar! Hey, if you like this video, you might enjoy these other videos on my solar playlist. Thank you so much for watching.